Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. As you see, I haven't been around for a little while, which means that we are going to make a new world. I'm so excited to be back, but I'll get into that in a minute. We're going to change to hard KMA's land and create new world. So yeah, I'm really excited. If, if you have been following me for a little while, you know that I ran into some difficulties. Um, and I had to stop recording for a while. And now I'm able to record again, so I'm very happy. It's been probably uh, a couple years since I've done any major recording. I've done things here and there, but nothing major. All right, why am I throwing wood on the ground? All right, so let's get some cobble. Where's the closest place to get some cobble? I guess I should just dig down. So we got our cobble and now we make some of the uh, real pick, not a hoe, a real pick. We go down and get, I usually get about 32 um, more cobble so I can make the rest of my uh, tools like a shovel, an axe, a sword, and also have enough left over to make some important things like a furnace. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of important at this at this stage. Yeah. Everything's important in Minecraft. That's why I like the beginning stages of Minecraft. Here's my 32. So, um, I'm gonna. One, two, and there we go. Just the right amount. It's almost like I've done this before. Maybe. Or maybe I was just really lucky. <laughs> Alright, let's get some food. And it seems like there's a lot of it around, so um, that's a good thing. One down. Oh, really? Defy the power of the sword. Will you stop running? <laughs> I'm mowing the grass again. Jeez. That's all I do when I get chickens is mow the grass instead. Flower forest right there? Is that a possibility? It sure looks like it. Oh, I'm going to like this place. Um, I've been uh, having issues with the recordings. Uh, I have a new computer. My other computer died. And uh, the new computer is not nearly as strong as the old one. Uh, so I had to dial down my, uh, my, my stuff and things to allow me to record. So I'm hoping um, that this recording is going to work out. Uh, it hasn't been. Unfortunately, I'm gonna just jump over here and get some more food. Yay, I jumped in water, so they think I want a boat. The goals I have for this season or this series, <laughs> so used to calling things seasons, um, one is to have fun. Um, I wasn't really having fun. Sorry, sheep machine. I need some white wool for a bed. And by darn it, I'm going to have to kill three sheep to do that. I still got to find more sheep. Oh, I even have dogs here. Excellent. <clears throat> so goal number one is to have fun. Goal number two is to um, meet some new friends. And that would be people like you. Uh, I have Discord server, which I haven't been using, but I plan on using again. So one being to have fun, two to be and have meet some more f good friends, because honestly, I wouldn't be in the situation of recording right now. I'd probably be homeless if it wasn't for friends I met online, um, doing the recordings and playing on servers and stuff I did before. I ran into some really really good friends um hold a special place in my heart they helped me out financially they helped me out mentally they helped me out in a lot of ways and uh they know who they are and 
the whole situation of bringing me out of where I was. Uh, they helped me land in a... Like, and they caught me, basically, from falling completely. So, for, I'll be forever grateful for that. Um, and I... I would have to say I would, definitely would be homeless if it wasn't for some of the help I got, so... I plan on paying some of the money back to some of the people, and you... Ooh, a village. And you know who you will be? <laughs> And that's great. I, I can't wait. I have a job now, a good job. I The reason why I went down in the first place is that I was working a career job that I've been doing for over a decade, and I hurt myself outside the job. And my doctor wouldn't allow me to work at that job ever again. And uh, that made life difficult, especially seeing I was living in one of the more expensive places to live in South Florida, kind of a richy hoity-toity area. Um, we had to end up moving because of that, so we now live in one of the... Now I don't have to get a bed. I don't have to kill any more sheep. So now we live in a real, really cheap place, like um, where I lived before. Right now the cheapest rent in the town for even like a one bedroom is like... I got the bell around three thousand dollars a month and where we are now we can uh, there's places that are like six hundred dollars a month and yeah you do get what you pay for I will say that what is that a carrot carrot potato all right do we get any beet root, yeah. beetroot seeds here oh uh, we do do I have every single one that I need yeah, I do. Excellent. Now I have all the uh, different crops I can make. So yeah, I, I live in a, a cheaper area. And um, it's not nearly as nice, but it's not. It's better than being homeless. And uh, we plan now that I have the decent job. I work at home now, which is pretty awesome. I We can... Get ourselves out of this situation uh, and hopefully find a, a better place to live in this area and things are looking up so I cannot complain about that I'm gonna steal you <laughs> what are you doing that's not where you're supposed to be so yeah I, I, I will say again one more time and I'm sorry I'm harping on this but thank you so much for those that helped me that was simply amazing. Um, and in the, I was quite depressed and being depressed like that and getting help uh, was pretty good. It was pretty good. When you're depressed, your mind's on strange, strange levels of stupidity, I can say. Um, at least mine, mine does. And basically getting offered that money and what people did was like, I don't deserve this. Why Why is this happening? I don't deserve this at all. But ultimately, um, even though in my head I kind of fought it a little bit, I, it was the right thing. And I'm super appreciative to the people hey, that helped me. Um, that was pretty freaking, yes, I'll say freaking amazing. So, thank you again, guys. Now, I'm back onto this world. We're going to have fun. We're going to make friends. Uh, one of my goals is to get a double chest of everything. Uh, when I say a double chest of everything, that is not um, exactly everything, but most things. Uh, there's obviously things I'm not going to get a double chest of like dragon eggs. I mean, I could fake it and do the duping thing, but I'm not into duping. I never even duped sand and red sand or vice versa. I, I just not a duper like that. Chicken. 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 Hey, chicken. I'm f <laughs> a tough chicken to kill. 
Chicken. Figure if I have a double chest of cobble, I can make it into smooth stone. So why do I need a double chest of smooth stone also? Okay, I've been in this area. I remember kick killing that chicken. I'm pretty sure my house is not too far away from here. <laughs> I saved my house. My hole in the ground. No, I don't want to go that way. That's the way we came from. Uh, so seeing that I can make a double chest of smooth stone out of cobble, I don't get the smooth stone. I don't do a double chest of stairs and stuff because out of this cobble I can make in I can make you know smooth stone stairs or I can make the stone stairs. So the same thing goes with um, wood. Like I'll I'll get oak wood. I'll, I mean oak logs, and you, I don't need to get oak planks or anything like that because I already have the oak logs. But with like with oak, what are the things you get? What I would get. So the oak logs is what I'd get because you can make stairs, slabs, and all the other stuff for it. Then you need a double chest of oak leaves and also a double chest of oak saplings, which is the hard part, I'll say. Maybe I was over here. There I am. I knew I was close. I knew I was close. I'm going to have to cut down all these trees. I guess we could do the, some of that now. Alright, I got most of the big trees around my place cut out. Um, I'm going to leave this sucker here. What I do in situations where I got two trees stuck to each other, because these birch leaves will disintegrate, I just get rid of them. Any, any part that's touching the other leaves... Uh, I just try and disconnect the two leaves and it will start to spawning, if that makes any sense. Probably not, because I don't say my ideas clearly, which is kind of strange, because now I work in a call center out of my house, and I have to speak as clearly as I possibly can. And i just not that clear a speaker. <laughs> Alright, so these leaves are touching, so they're not going to despawn. Alright, let's go to sleep in our beautiful home. Isn't this a beautiful home? <laughs> I will make something to cover this area. Eventually. Probably sooner than later. I think I'm gonna um, go get some more food because I don't have enough food yet to go on an extended caving ex exhibition. And that's ultimately what I want to do next is dig down to my cave. Yeah, give me that. <laughs> right now resources are so thin I grab everything. I tend to grab everything all the time anyways because I just don't like seeing resources go to waste. But I'm going to go um, run around again and get some more food. And then we'll probably dig down and make our branch mine. We were able to do another loop around the space and kill some animals. But before we go underground, we're going to uh, plant some crops. So we're going to need to make some crops areas. Is that once I go underground, the crops are going to uh, grow. And that means when I come back out, they'll be all grown up. So I put together a little time lapse of me doing a little terraforming and planting of crops.
now this is the crops that I made uh, the reason why I made it so big is because we're gonna be doing a lot of villager trading with these crops I mean it's not huge but for be uh, the beginning of the game it is on the little excessive side but I want to make sure I get uh, built up to the point where I can trade with villagers as soon as possible because villager trading and getting all the gear that you want you like the uh, sharpness 5 and all that looting 3 fortune 3 it's best achieved by getting some villagers making a villager breeder and trading with them and uh, finding the right villagers to do the right things that you want them to do and what I do is I uh, end up getting a villager that has the best book of every category. I have one of those. Then I have uh, some of the select other ones like clerics and weaponsmiths just in case I need something that they sell. Um, like redstone or lapis. So believe me, this is going to be in the early game one of the busiest areas of the game. Forget my base, no. This, is, this area is going to be where I'm going to be spending most of my time because I'm going to be harvesting a lot of crops. And uh, trying to get the crop fields as big as possible. As fast as possible. As you see, I planted some trees. A row of trees here. To grow up my wood supplies. As you see, when we look into the case. I have uh, mostly wood blocks. I only have 12 cobblestone left. Mainly because I needed to use enough cobblestone for, I don't know, 10 of these hoes. Because uh, stone holes don't last that long, especially when you're making a bigger field. Uh, but look at all this wood. I got plenty of wood. And plenty of dirt. What else? Best way to start a Minecraft world. With that said, that's going to be it for this Minecraft episode. Not the world. I'll be back. And on the next episode, we're going to go down and uh, do a little mining. I'll show you the ways of doing that what I enjoy doing then we'll probably end up harvesting some crops and uh, maybe setting up more crops for the sugarcane and we're not going to go to the nether yet but sugarcane for sure and uh, maybe making a tree farm so I can get a lot of wood as soon as possible but then again my number one goal is to get villagers over here as soon as possible get an iron farm going as soon as possible and uh, get some villager trading going on and I guess we'll do it here. We'll do it right here. I'll, I'll build the thing right in front of me. Maybe. Maybe. Things will change. But anyways. Have a great day, guys. Hit that like button. I mean, if you made it this far, you must like me somehow. So show me that you like my stuff. I almost said love my stuff. You don't have to hit the like button if you don't love it. But anyways. Yeah. Have a great day. It's KMA. Goodbye.